In this video, I'm going to be trying five different kinds of Christmas flavors of from the Door County Coffee and Tea Company. These were sent to me uh, from Scarlett, so thank you very, very much, Scarlett. I really appreciate it. It is uh, very exciting for me to get to try these Christmas flavors because uh, when you had sent me the fall flavors, I just never imagined that I would ever get to try the Christmas one. So this is really cool. Uh, these are made in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. And I'll just go through the flavors I have. I have Door County Christmas. And as I try each one, I'll describe them better. Uh, Jingle Bell Java. Hot Buttered Rum. Candy Cane and White Christmas. And uh, they all sound really, really, really good. Uh, the one I'm looking most forward to is probably the hot, hot buttered rum out of all of them. Uh, that, just, um, that just sounds really good to me. Uh, so you know what? I'm gonna try it first. <laughs> um, hot buttered rum. I already have my water in my um, pot. It smells really good. If you've never seen me review these coffees before, one of these packets will make three pots of coffee for me. I use um, one eighth of a cup, a measuring cup, and I kind of heap it and um, I fill my water up to six and that will make me two full cups of coffee. Um, so that three pots of coffee for one of these packets is, is really good. So I'm going to let that do its thing. Um, this is a hot buttered rum. I guess I should tell you what I'm making. Hot buttered rum is coffee with the essence of rum, caramelized sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, and cinnamon. So this one has a lot going on. Uh, so it will smell good and Christmassy in here in just a few minutes. I'm hoping. Uh, so I will be back when it's finished. Okay, my coffee is ready, and I have put three sweetener packets in here. Um, the great thing that I've learned from these Door County coffees is that they do not need creamer. They, uh, they are special all on their own. They don't need anything else added to them besides the sugar for me, and um, they have zero calories. Hmm, that's different than what I was expecting. That's very good though. It's, um, the flavors are delicate. So even though it says cinnamon, you're not getting like a powerful burst of cinnamon. The nutmeg is there but it's also subdued um and the vanilla i don't know about the vanilla i guess i'm getting that buttered rum flavor it's very very good it's not what i was expecting uh, but i like it a lot uh, this is something i definitely see why it's a limited edition seasonal flavor um because uh, this uh, makes you think of the latter part of the year. You know, you're thinking about Christmas and you're thinking about sitting there in front of the tree and having your cup of coffee. So this is really, really good. I like this a lot. I can't wait to try some of the other ones. I have no idea what I'll try tomorrow, but for now, I will enjoy this. Today, I'm gonna to be trying the Jingle Bell Java. This is a blend of toasted pecans, creamy caramel, vanilla, and cinnamon. So, um, just gonna smell it real quick for ya. Mmm, you can really, really smell the pecans in that. Um, so I'm just gonna get this going. I've already got my water in the pot and I will be back as soon as this is finished. I cannot wait to try this. It's the smell the smell is just so strong of pecans that I just can't even tell you. It's um, 
just overwhelming pecans. Mm. Wow, that is, it, it is a combination of pecans and caramel. That's what it is. That is fabulous. I love that. Mmm. Now see, that just goes to show that usually what I think is not going to mean anything because I thought I would like that hot buttered rum like the best. That, this uh, Jingle Bell Java, that is awesome. Now I'm telling you that is the step. Um, I put three creamers in here, just like I always do. I don't know that I get the cinnamon. I'm sure the vanilla is in there. It's just that the caramel and the pecans overrides everything else. It is wonderful. If you like, if you can imagine just a creamy, creamy caramel over pecans that's it that's what that is so that is awesome i'm really looking forward to that um i think my next one that i'm going to try is going to be the candy cane i've looked at the descriptions of them and i think i'm going to do the candy cane next and then the white christmas and then the door county christmas i think i'm going to save the door county christmas for last because um it says it's uh, cinnamon and spice and to me that might mean like a wassail type of drink. So anyway, you'll see that further in the video if that's the way, the order I do them. But this is awesome. So love it. This is a hit, Jingle Bell Java. Today, I'm gonna be trying the Candy Cane Coffee from Door County Coffee and Tea Company. Um, of course, you already know that if you've been watching this, the rest, yeah, you already know that, Door County Coffee and Tea Company. Um, this is the candy cane. It is gourmet coffee with a hint of peppermint candy cane. Mm. It sounds fantastic. Oh, my supplies out here. I even remember to get my baggie out to put it in. Oh, wow. Okay. When they say candy cane, they mean candy cane. That is, uh, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I don't know how I'm going to feel about having um, candy cane coffee. I don't know. Uh, I know that um, uh, you can go to places like Starbucks and uh, get uh, special drinks and stuff like that. Lattes or Frappuccinos or whatever they are. Um, but I don't know about candy cane coffee. So this will be very, very interesting. Okay, it definitely smells like peppermint in here. Here we go. I have my sugar packets in here. Okay, I'm just going to be very honest. That, um, that is peppermint, but is, it is not something, I'm not a real, I like peppermint, but I'm not a real, like, I love peppermint to where I want all peppermint candy out there. If I have a choice between, um, milk chocolate and something with peppermint, I'm going to pick the milk chocolate. I'm, I'm not going to choose peppermint. So, for me... Even though this is good, this is not something that I would go to. This, and don't take this the wrong way, but I can see that this would be some good for somebody who's maybe sick, that has a cold. It's not, I'm not saying it's like a overwhelming peppermint flavor, like it's gonna um, unclog your sinuses. However, I, I, when I brought this up to my nose, it's like, I don't know, it's like that smell reminded me, even though it is a nice peppermint, it also reminded me of something medicinal, I guess because it's it's warm and it's it has the mint. So, I do like it, but it's it's not something that I would probably get again. If I had another uh, a choice, I would not pick that one. But, 
it, you know, one cup or, or two cups um, every few weeks. That won't be too bad. It's just not one that I would pick up again. If you like peppermint though, you should definitely try that. Like I said, I like peppermint, but I'm not really like, sh like I feel strongly enough to go out and buy it all the time peppermint. So just take that into consideration when, you know, when you uh, think about my opinion, think, well, Tammy's a peppermint person, but she's not that big of a peppermint person. So um, anyway, if you like peppermint, you'll want to try it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be trying a uh, white Christmas. I think I said I was going to try a white Christmas next. So, that, uh, that'll be coming up tomorrow. It looks like it's a lot of vanilla, which I love. Today, I'm going to be trying the white Christmas flavor. It is, in, it says, enjoy the aroma of vanilla and the taste of homemade vanilla ice cream. Well, that's something that I can get into. Vanilla ice cream. Don't want to smell it for you. That's the reason why I don't open it off camera and go ahead and have it brewing is because I try to give you a first impression when I open it of the smell. And it, it does smell very strong of vanilla. So I cannot wait to try this. So I'm going to get this going. I've got my water in there already. Got my scoop. And uh, so I'll be back. It smells like pure vanilla in this kitchen. Like, like sometimes you would say, oh, it smells like you're baking cookies or something like that. No, this smells like you've opened up the container of vanilla to make your cookies and that maybe you dropped the bottle and it the smell got seeped into the floor that's what it smells like it smells uh wonderful and the cat wants me i don't know why he wants me why do you want me hmm? why do you want me i'm trying to drink coffee uh, that the, the flavor of that is so delicious and smooth and that's just perfect. I really, really, really like that. You think you can get down now? Um, yeah, I really like the flavor of that. I want to take another sip. That is so nice. It's like, it's like you're having candy, but you're not having the calories of the candy, you know? You're having something really sweet and not having to fool with the calories. So that is wonderful. I really like that. Um, and that is called White Christmas. I will enjoy every pot of that, believe me. Um, so, so far, that one and... Um, that one and Jingle Bell Java. I think those those two are my favorites so far. So tomorrow I have Door Caddy Christmas left. I have saved that for last just because it sounds like a true Christmas to me, the Christmas that I know anyway. So um, I'll see you in a few seconds for you. So I have one more flavor to try from the Christmas uh, seasonal flavors. This is called Door County Christmas. It is an aromatic blend of cinnamon and spice. A true holiday tradition. So that's why I saved this one for last. My big Christmas blowout here. Oh wow. And that smells different than any of these other ones. That, uh, wow. I love the smell of that. You really do smell cinnamon and other spices, just like what they said. I don't know how to describe it better than the company described it. It is just, it's that smell that, um, 
when you go into somebody's house, I don't want to say cinnamon air freshener because I don't want you to think you're going to be drinking cinnamon air freshener. But if you know that smell, that cinnamon smell, I think you're going to be getting that in a cup of coffee. I hope that's what it is because I think it's going to be really good if that's what it is. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to come back and I'll let you know what I think. There is a lovely, lovely smell of cinnamon in the air. Oh, wow. I'm going to be honest. That's like vanilla to me. I mean, cinnamon and vanilla. It has the cinnamon... But it's like a mixture of cinnamon and vanilla. That's very good. But it, that flavor, if you can have, if you can have a flavor specific to Christmas time, that would be it. I mean, truly, that, that says Christmas. If you had guessed over, this would be, if you didn't tell them it was coffee, um, and they would just think it was uh, like wassail. I mean, it's really, that is a very, very good hot beverage. I like that quite a bit. Um, and this would be good any time of day. Honestly, I can say, I could say that um, even if uh, you're going to bed at night and you wanted to settle down, this would be good to uh, get up in the bed under the cover with your book and have this on your nightstand. Um, this would be really good to have by your side, a good companion. So I like this uh, quite a bit. It's not my favorite though. Um, my favorite, my favorite is the Jingle Bell Java. I just loved it. It's a, the blend of toasted pecans, creamy caramel, vanilla, and cinnamon. It, it, just the Jingle Bell Java. And then, um, then the White Christmas. I like the White Christmas next because that was the, that was the one that was a vanilla. And I mean, um, just as I was drinking that, I thought, and I was drinking it in the morning, but I thought, gosh, this would be a nice drink to kind of, um, like I just said about the uh, Door County Christmas to snuggle up in bed with. That vanilla, um, that white Christmas, that would be good to go to bed with. Really, I mean, it it, it would be nice uh, to have before you go to sleep. So, Jingle Bell Java, White Christmas. I'm going to say Door County Christmas, the one that I just had, this one. Uh, that is really good. And then the two, Hot Butter Rum would be next. I expected it to be more than what it was just by the name. I would have liked to have had a little bit more of that butter broom. And then the candy cane. Candy cane's very specific. You know, if, if you want uh, the peppermint, um, to me it was more than a hint of peppermint. If you like that much peppermint, uh, then you would want to try the candy cane. I think that would be a hit for you. For me, it would be a very rare time where I would go to the candy cane. That's just me. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed um, this series, getting to see all five of these. Scarlett, thank you again. I, I, I never expected to get the, to try the um, Christmas special coffees. Uh, so uh, thank you. These are a limited edition, so if you're interested in them, I'm sure they're on the website. I haven't checked. But I'm sure they're on the website. They're limited edition. So if you want them, you would need to go ahead and get them. I'm sure they stay fresh for a long time, though. And they probably, uh, I would think they would sell big bags of these, too. So, um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.